Hi, I'm the Rick at Rick Turns, and today's video is... Hi, I'm Rick Morris. I'm here with just an update to one of my earlier videos. I had talked about ingrain sealing and what I use for that. And I've used uh, various things, uh, say three or four different things over the course of my 10, 15, 20 years of turning. And I started out with the, uh, the standard ingrain sealer. <sighs> whose name I cannot remember now. It's uh, formulated specifically for sealing the end grade on wood. It did a pretty good job. It was not too expensive. Uh, I think it was a long time ago. I was paying around $18 uh, a gallon for it. And after that, I, I tried out, uh, based on a tip from, I believe, and I can't remember his name, <laughs> one of the wood turning video producers on YouTube uh, and he he tried out uh, Elmer's glue and I used that for several years uh, quite a few years more than I had used the uh, the the standard waxy type sealer and I thought the Elmer's glue did a pretty good job uh, when I got into this workshop that I'm in now which was about a year ago uh, I didn't have any Elmer's glue left I used some kills um, and it is a product that is made for uh, sealing acoustic tile and, and uh, plasterboard and so forth uh, to so you can paint over stains uh, and I used that it, it worked fairly well so I just wanted to get back with what I found to be the absolute best so far and that is tight bond wood glue now this I, I think I spent 16 or 17 dollars on a gallon of this it's a little bit more than the Elmer's glue it's probably a little bit less uh, than the uh, wood sealer product, uh, although I haven't bought any in so long, I don't know. But the owner's glue looks great. If we take a look at it right up here on the top surface, I put two coats of Elmer's glue on whatever I want to seal. Now this is a piece of walnut. It was fairly fresh when I got it. It's got a little crack right in here. Uh, that was when I got it. That did not develop afterwards. As soon as I got it home in the shop, I put a coat of Tight Bond on it. And the next day I came out and I put another coat of Tight Bond on it. And this has just looks like it's got an impervious uh, shield on it right here. Uh, I think it might show in the video, but it has not cracked at all. And I've had this sitting out here in my workshop for maybe a month or so. I would have expected to get a crack in it by now and I got some cherry here this cherry was fairly fresh when I got it uh, let's see how fresh was it it's about six months old when I chopped it up into pieces like this uh, and I've got two coats of tight bond on here as well and uh, maybe it shows in the video maybe not but it's got a really solid coat of this tight bond and I've got no cracks at all. And I've even got a little bit of the pith in this piece of log right here. Now I coated this one here and right over here and then right over here uh, since I had that wood exposed. I did not cut it, uh, coat it on all the exposed wood. Indeed, I didn't coat it up here. Maybe I should have because I've got a crack developing right there. Uh, but this tight bond is really outperforming anything I've used before. And I just wanted to pass that on. Maybe you'd like to try it sometime. See you next video.